beautiful friends, my name is Anna. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to show you how to make imperial rice or arroz imperial in Spanish. If you have never eaten arroz imperial, it is a very traditional dish in Cuba served around this time of year, around the holidays. It is served on New Year's Eve, on Christmas Eve, it is also served on birthday. So it's kind of like a celebration dish. It is very indulgent, we're using mayonnaise, we're using a few ingredients, but don't be fooled by the ingredients because they're very simple things. They might look like there's a lot of ingredients in here, but trust me, it is not, and it's gonna be so, so delicious, and it can be done in under an hour, so that's a plus. Let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna need to get started. You're going to need some freshly shredded mozzarella. Please shred your own. It makes the world of a difference. You're gonna need some salt, chicken here we're using chicken fat you can use chicken breast you can use drumsticks whatever you have whatever kind of chicken you like you're going to need some white wine i'm using pinot reggio in case you're wondering some extra virgin olive oil pepper some ham slices i'm using old-fashioned ham that's my favorite for this recipe tomato puree you can also use tomato sauce green pepper, red pepper, here, we, here I have some fresh oregano and parsley. Of course, you can use dry if you don't have fresh. Onion, garlic, you're gonna need some beautiful rice. I'm using long grain, you can use jasmine, basmati, whatever you have on hand, whatever you like. Some sazon goya, culantro, a bay leaf. If you don't have this type of culantro, and it is also known as coriander, um, you know, just use the other one that looks kind of like the parsley. Um, I have some mayonnaise, garlic powder, cumin, and you're also going to need some beedrill. And this gives that really nice yellow color to the rice because we're essentially making a yellow rice. So you can use this, you can use turmeric, you can use annatto, whatever you have, whatever you like. As you can see, there's quite a few ingredients, but like I told you, don't get fooled. This comes together very, very quickly. The first thing we have to do is cook the chicken. So I have a stock pot on medium heat with about six cups of water and to what I'm gonna add my chicken, the bay leaf, and the culantro leaves, and I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes. As I was telling you, this is very simple, and as far as real prep goes, you only really need to shop your veggies. Here I'm just shopping my red pepper, and I'm gonna do the same to the green pepper, the onions, I'm gonna mince my garlic, and this amount is going to be divided between the chicken and the rice. Essentially, we're making making a yellow rice and if you ever made yellow rice before you know we have to make a sofrito for it so it can come out very delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my prepping. You also want to shop your fresh herbs if you're using fresh and yeah this is pretty much it. So once our chicken is done cooking we're going to start making the rice and the reason we're not making the rice right now is because I really want to use the chicken stock to make the rice because it will give the rice such incredible flavor you won't you can even imagine it. So yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of my prepping and then I'm gonna meet you back here for the next step. My chicken, it's ready. I have it on a plate here coming to somewhat room temperature or at least manageable temperature so I can shred it. And I also reserved some of that chicken stock. You want about three cups, but of course, remember that the written recipe is always on my website, www.anitasdelightsrecipes.com so you can find the recipe for the whole thing. I also have my veggies prepped as you can see and ready to go. I'm gonna be making the rice in my rice cooker because it is a lot quicker and I think it's just easier and I'm honestly feeling a little lazy today. So uh, I'm gonna be making it in the bar in the rice cooker, but I still want to make the sofrito. If you're going to be making this in a pot on the stove, I recommend that you make the sofrito in the same pot in which you're going to be cooking your rice in. So let's go over to the stove so I can show you how to make the sofrito and how you can cook your rice. Okay, here I have a high size skillet on medium heat. To it, I'm gonna add about 
three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You can use olive oil. I'm just gonna let this come to temperature very quickly. Now that my oil is at the right temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and add half the onions. I'm gonna add half the peppers. You want to cook this for about five minutes until the onions are translucent and the peppers are softened. So I'm going to let it do its thing and then next we're going to add the remaining ingredients. And now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I'm also adding some parsley and oregano along with some salt. Not too much because we want to salt the rice itself and some pepper. We're also going to add one packet of the Sazon Goya. And I like to add about a tablespoon of tomato puree along with some bijou. Okay. I'm gonna give this a nice stir. Look at that beautiful color. I'm gonna let this cook for about three to four more minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and make the rice. If you're gonna be making your rice in a rice maker or an instant pot, it's very simple. You just want to add the rice, the water, Okay, and you want to add the sofrito. If you're making this in a pot on the stove, you want to let the rice, sofrito in the water, come to a boil for about, I think it takes like five minutes. And then you want to bring the temperature down and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Obviously, the, your rice package should have the instructions on how to cook the rice. So I'm just going to pop this in my rice maker and I'm going to let it cook. And while the rice is cooking, we're going to shred the chicken so we can finish this whole thing. All I'm doing now is just shredding the chicken and we're going to cook this chicken in a similar sofrito. Um, so do not rinse your skillet yet because we're going to be using the same skillet. There's no need to get a new one or get any more dishes dirty. And another tip that I have for you, if you have rotisserie chicken on hand, leftover rotisserie chicken, you can actually use that and it will save you a little bit of time. The only thing is that since we did cook the, the rice in the chicken stock, you can use homemade chicken stock for that or you can just simply use water and you'll be fine. Here we have the same skillet in which we made the sofrito for the rice and to it I'm, again I'm going to add some olive oil. Okay and to this I'm going to add the rest of my onions and peppers. Okay so we're gonna let that cook. Okay we're going to add the garlic the parsley, tomato puree, I'm adding the cumin and garlic powder. I'm gonna give this a quick mix. The other pack of the Sazon Goya. And now we're going to deglaze the whole thing with a little bit of white wine. I'm gonna head and pour it in there. I'm gonna let the wine cook down for about a minute and after we're going to add the shredded chicken. Okay, now I'm going to add the chicken. You just want to mix the chicken in very well. Okay, so this is looking a little too dry. So I'm going to add about, I would say half a cup of that chicken stock. So make sure you reserve at least four cups, three and a half to four cups of the chicken stock because you need it for the rice and you might need it for the chicken as well. Lastly, I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of freshly cracked pepper. The chicken needs to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or for the remaining of the rice cooking time. So if you're Rice still needs to cook for an extra 10 minutes, just leave it there for that time. Uh, you want the sauce to thicken up 
a little bit more because now since we added the chicken stock, it's a little watery. I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we just have to assemble the whole thing and pop it in the oven. We have everything ready. As you can see, we have our beautiful yellow rice in here and it came out so good. I'm about to eat some of this with avocado. Perfection. Um, we have our chicken over here. Make sure you taste everything for seasoning. If your chicken needs a little more salt, add a little more salt. Remember, salt is what gives uh, food flavor. So if you find that it's a little, mm, probably needs a little more salt. We got our shredded mozzarella cheese, the ham, mayonnaise, and here I have a nine by 13 baking dish. So. Think of imperial rice as a lasagna, as a rice lasagna, because we're gonna do one layer of rice, another layer of cheese, another layer of chicken. So it's kind of like that. You also want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, because we do have to bake this for around 10 to 15 minutes. That way the cheese gets nice and bubbly on top and it is so divine. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to add a little bit of mayonnaise on the bottom of the pan. And the reason I'm doing this is so nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. So make sure you get a nice even layer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna do a layer of rice. And this is gonna be good for about two layers of rice. Okay, and that looks good. And the thing about this is you want to make it very compact. So you want to press down on the rice. This way, once we cut into it, it will keep its shape and it won't um, go everywhere. I'm going to do some mayonnaise. And again, you want a nice even layer. If you want a little more mayonnaise, go ahead and add a little more. But I find that if you add too much mayonnaise, then it gets a little too greasy and I do not like that. So I'm only adding very minimal amount. Next, we're adding the chicken. I'm trying not to make a mess here. And again, a nice single layer. Okay, we're going to add some cheese right on top, just like so. Okay, and on top of the cheese, I'm going to add the ham and you can obviously omit the ham if you don't want to add ham okay now we have to add the rest of the rice again try to make it in a nice layer and press down on it the rest of the mayonnaise okay i'm gonna try to sp spread it as evenly as i can okay Perfect. Now the rest of the cheese. This is what your rice should look like. Now, first of all, I hope you didn't make as much of a mess as I did, but what can I say? This is going to go into the oven, preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I would say around 10 to 15 minutes. You know when it's ready, when the top is nice and bubbly and you know, the cheese has melted and it's looking perfect, you know, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in the oven and then I'm gonna meet you back here. We're gonna cut into it, we're gonna eat it and it's gonna be fabulous. My rice is done cooking and it's looking fabulous. Let me show you how the cheese melted on top. It was in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. I'm gonna cut into it and hopefully it doesn't fall apart on me, but either way, it's gonna be absolutely delicious, so let's do it. I want a little piece right here. The good thing about this is that it also feeds a lot of people because like I said, it's very indulgent, so you don't need a lot. And then you can serve it with a side salad. Oh, can you see that cheese? How it's so perfectly melty. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to dig in. Okay, let me put this aside. But I don't know if you guys can see all the layers, the cheese, the ham, the chicken in the middle. This looks 
so incredibly yummy. And you guys know me, I have to dig right into it. So let's see how we do this. Oh, that's perfect. So delicious. Mmm. So hot. This is fantastic. Honestly, so good. The perfect holiday meal. If you're looking for something a little different this holiday season, this is the way to go. Like I said, this is a very traditional dish in Cuba. I'm not sure if other countries make this. I don't know where it originated from, but I know this is a very traditional dish in Cuba. And we served it, like I said at the beginning of the video, around the holidays, and it's just perfection. It's just, it brings me back so many memories. I hope you guys give this a try. Remember, the written recipe is on my website, www.anitasdeliceRecipes.com. Don't forget to like the video if you did, and subscribe so you can join our growing family. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.